नमस्कार म शंकर शर्मा विश्वज्योति सामाजिक शिक्षक एज सोशल टीचर टुडे आई हैव ब्रॉट क्लास एट सोशल ऑनलाइन क्लासेस नेक्स्ट एपिसोड वेलकम टू द क्लास क्लास इट डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट यूनिट टू लेसन वन अफ आवर सोशल इन यूनिट टू विल डिस्कस अबाउट आवर सोशल norms and values in this unit today we are disc- going to discuss about lesson 1 our social tradition and customs as we know that nepal is a small landlocked country different types of people with different culture languages religious etc live in different provinces of nepal so in this lesson a discussion between teacher and different community students are highlighted and dear students as you know that nepal is a mountainous hilly landlocked country its physical features and its diverse climatic condition has made the lifestyle of the people and tradition in various ways as we know nepali people's way of living is very different from one another though there is differences there is uniqueness and unity among each other so at first we'll talk about arjun shrestha who is describing here about his own traditions and let's see here arjun shrestha who is belong from nepa newari community he is talking about guti which is a social organization prevailing in his community in the system of guti people used to collaboratively live together and share their works with one another in this system in guti people it is to collect little funds and that fund is distributed among the newari community for different cultural programs or social works it is said that guti is prevailing from very ancient time which belong which goes back to lichavi period and as we know that during lichavi period in the context of nepal different cultural works were very popular among them handicraft works and social tradition was very good and it is very famous among asia so arjun shrestha says that by staying in guti people can solve from small or minor works to big problems of the society and it is very one of the good organization that is guti which helps the community people to cooperate together and maintain social traditions ahead so next is prem the lami who is talking about magar community prem the prem the lami is talking about magar community organization which is known as bheja and this is also one non profit social organization in this bheja which performs helps in performing religious festivals rituals rituals celebration of different celebration of different programs traditional practices and agricultural works as we know that nepali society is based on agricultural society so economic status is not so well in the village or rural areas 
so people is to perform such type of organization and they unite together they work together and they perform their social activities by staying in such type of groups or organization so bheja which helps in conducting economic activities and use utilization of resources or mobilization of resources forest resources or other mineral resources of the community as we know the head of bheja is known as mukhiya and the villagers is to elect one of the leader for the bheja to coordinate the works whom is title is given mukhiya and the person mukhiya is responsible for the overall activities of that society which belongs that means magar society mukhiya used to work together with the community people and preserve the religious and traditional practices under the appointment of one person who is known as pujari to perform the different religious activities in magar community next we'll see about chaya choudhary who belongs to tharu community as you know tharu were very simple hard working people in nepal maximum people they belong from southern part of nepal their way of living style is agricultural and animal husbandry so as we know tharu people of jews new year in the month of mag so that is known as maghi also so in tharu community one of the tradition which is prevailing from ancient time that is known as badghar badghar means the position of a village leader who leads his village under his command so in the appointment of badghar every village people is responsible and they is to follow what the badghar tell to tell them and in this organization also they maintain unity among themselves so badghar is responsible for maintaining unity in the community so tharu people while they are working in the agricultural sectors they used to cooperate with one another and maintain good relationship and they observe their different tradition festivals together and the young generation of tharu community also learn different ritual programs ceremonies from the badghar the senior member or the elder people from the community helps to perform different programs or works and hand it to the new generation so every year on the month of mag community appoints badghar in every year in tharu community badghar is maintains and it prevails in the villages but as we see nowadays the west the modernization of the villages toward the city areas and the mobilization of the people or the migration of people from the village to town disturbs the ceremonies or our prevailing condition of the villages so next topic let's talk about gurung community and here anu gurung shares his community's tradition that is rodigar and in our gurung community rodigar is made in order to maintain different programs especially the young generation 
those who maintains their time by performing different dances or singing different types of cultural songs in the evening in Rodigar. So, in this system, 12 to 15 people engage under the supervision of adult member in Rodigar. And the adult people or citizen, senior citizen helps to teach them about the tradition or the dances or the cultural programs or planning of the next day works or schedules to the villagers by utilizing Rodi group of peoples. It is a good social tradition in this society. So all the members of Rodi usually works together in the field of agriculture or different programs or ceremonies. So without delaying, we'll proceed to next who describes about Parma and Poncho by Samir Sarma. And here Samir Sarma describes that Parma and Poncho which is prevailing not to any community or caste, it is prevailing all over Nepal. Every community of the people maintain Parma and Poncho especially in the rural areas. As we see that Parma means exchange of works with work or people with people. Economically, Jinsi is little problem in the context of villages. At that time, people used to work together hand in hand by utilizing this type of systems. So giving and taking help in the agricultural sectors or farming areas like this poncho means exchange of goods with goods. As we know, agricultural country have needs different types of resources to maintain fulfill human basic needs. Therefore, our Nepali society they used to maintain such type of programs, parma and poncho, in order to maintain their living standard, easy and comfortable way. And it was prevailing from previous ancient time all over Nepal. So next, without delaying, we'll proceed to our Deepak Singh says about Dukuti which is a social organization. Dokoti, as we simply renown as Easter Room, villagers is to collect, collectively collect the all agricultural products to some Easter Rooms for future use. So nowadays, this storing of food grains, Dokoti has been transformed to financial or monumentous and people who became the member of Dukuti is to collect some money and they help one another. But in this system, a little amount of interest is also used. But at present time, government of Nepal and different organization said that it is illegal and it is not, it shouldn't be maintained in the society because in the system of Dukuti, different frauds and fakes were found. So, by saying so, we would like to proceed ahead. So, as a small country, different cultures, different religions, different languages speaking our country, diverse uh, culture programs are conducted, different traditions are observed, so it's really unique and beautiful country in Asia or in the world. So my dear students, today class, we like to conclude before going so, one homework is proceeded for you. Let's highlight question one, write down differences and similarities 
between Bheja, Badgar and Goti belongs to different communities. The next question is that write about your social tradition and customs which you follow in your community very briefly. By saying so, I would like to conclude my class. Thank you. Namaste.